guys, Creator 438 here. Welcome to, welcome back to more Let's Play Pikmin 3. In the last episode, we basically started our adventure to Tropical Wilds, and in this episode, we will be going to the Garden of Hope to find Brittany. And I actually want to make note of something right here. You can go, you can actually, um, if you click here. I just clicked to an earlier day. You can actually go. You can actually go back to an earlier day. Um, you don't, you're not limited to just these two. As you progress through the game, you get to go back to more days, just in case like you miss you mess up or anything. This is actually very convenient because if you make like a huge ass mistake, you can just go to like the day before. So then like, and then when you get up to that next day. You just pretend like it didn't even happen, as long as you avoid making said mistake. Uh, we're gonna stay with, yeah, we're gonna stay with day two though. I probably won't be using this very much. I hope that I won't have to go through the whole thing again. I think I might have to. I can I skip this? I don't think I can. Well, we already read it, so. Going through this whole thing again. Jeez. Oh, Skip the text. So anyway, you can also um, check in here by pressing minus. And uh, I'm not going to be doing this all too often because it gets to the point where the characters say the same thing again. So yeah. And so you can do that. There's some pretty funny um, dialogue later on if you do that. Like when you have all three captains. Because spoilers, there's three captains in this game. So yeah. But we'll, we'll get into that later maybe. Well, not the dialogue or anything. But we'll get into the whole three captains thing later, I guess. Okay, so anyway, let's just land in the Garden of Hope. Brittany should be around here. Something is flashing on my map. Maybe it's her. I'm running out of sustenance. So I should ho so I hope to find her before it's too late. You get 13 minutes. Well, looks like the enemy has followed me here. So where are the Pikmin? So you press A to call slash return Pikmin and you enter the onion here. We're just gonna get out all our reds obviously. It's what you do. Oh, that's right, the data file I found explained all this. The onion is the Pikmin's nest. Press A under the onion to take out or return Pikmin. I'm going to install an application on the cuppad that lets me check Pikmin status remotely. Okay, so now that all that shit's done, we have, um, well, first a new enemy. These are called, wait, they're called dwarf bulb. Okay, just want to make sure. They're dwarf bulb orbs. They'll give you three Pikmin by killing them. All you have to do, they're basically like, I guess you could say the Goombas of this game, if you wanted to. Just gonna have our Pikmin build that bridge. Those are Spectralids, white Spectralids, actually, I'm pretty sure they're called. And, um, what to talk about? Um, well, Spectralids basically give you stuff. You won't be seeing too many of those, but keep an eye out for them. Because you might want to kill one. White Spectralids won't give you anything. But anyway, um, as you can see, there's this timer, or this um, thing with a sun. My cursor's pointing at it right now. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. And, um, 
basically what this indicates is it indicates the time in the day so let's just get this data file here so we're basically starting like the real deal Pikmin thing here I guess okay so Pikminology number 14 once Pikmin are done transporting fragments they will return to the original location of the fragments so that's basically for like better time management if you want to keep like a squad with you and have like a group of Pikmin go for a bridge then you can do that sometimes it can be a little annoying though because like it's set in the Pikmin's AI to do that so yeah and then over here check it out Shh, it's asleep I think we can sneak up on it let's actually go into these bushes or these plants hiding when the going gets rough, retreat to a hiding place and wait for the op for an opportunity. So we have a new enemy right here. These are called red bull. Actually, they're just called bulb orbs. I don't know why they took the red out. Now you could swarm them, but if you actually attack their eyes, that's actually a weakness in this game. No, don't you attack my Pikmin, you bitch. <laughs> we killed like seven Pikmin and Pikmin too. I'm not letting that happen again. So yeah, you can take him back, he requires 10 Pikmin, but he gives you a lot more Pikmin than just a regular pellet pose you would. I believe he gives you 10 of them. I'm not, I don't exactly remember. Oh yeah, this new update has, um, camera lock on, charge, it has, it shows the controls now. That update was installed on, um, or went into effect on May 31st, I believe. Bulb orb number two, attack from behind to gain advantage. So, these data files can actually provide tips for fighting enemies. So that's also pretty useful. We're gonna call our guys here. We've got more Pikmin. And if we repeatedly tap the A button, we can just pluck his, uh, pluck, sorry, um, a bunch of sprouts at once, and they're finished um, taking down the bridge. I keep saying um a lot. What the hell? I don't know why I'm doing that. So we got 44 Pikmin. This is the number you should have. Oh no. Brittany's just lying there. I hope I'm not too late. She's just sleeping. Pick up Brittany. Please still, please still be alive. Oh, sorry about that. I was taking a little nap. So you're close by. Why why wasn't I moving? You ask. Hee <laughs> hee. Well, you know me. I'm a pretty sound sleeper, even with all these creatures creeping around. But never mind that. Listen, I discovered what looks like a, f a piece of fruit. It's over there. But I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. Could you go and check it out for me? We found Brittany. Let's keep going here. And there's the piece of fruit. Wow, it's even bigger than I thought it would be. It's, if this giant red, if this giant thing really is fruit, then we've hit the jackpot. I like to analyze it at the Drake, but how do I get it there? You use the Pikmin to carry it. We all know what that is. And check it out. It's a glass wall. Brittany's on the other side of this wall. We can't do anything about that yet, but maybe if we go into this cave, we'll find something that will help us with that. Look at all of these crystals. It's those, it's, those are like those crystals we found earlier. What is that thing? Uh-oh. This is a new enemy. This is the Medusa Slurker. Is there something inside that thing? Yes, there are things inside that thing. And we just got it. These are rock Pikmin. A new Pikmin that were introduced in, that were introduced in this game. Are these creatures Pikmin too? They're giving me a funny look. What in the... What are they doing? These ones seem friendly too. 
That one guy. Mashing the crystal. He sure packed a punch. There, that should do the trick. And we have a rock onion here. Which isn't really rocky, but it's for the rock pickling, so. So their onion was trapped inside that crystal. Since I have two types of Pikmin now, I can select the ones I want to use with C. Select the Pikmin or person you want to throw using C. That's right, you can throw people in this game. We'll get into that later, though. And when I want to split, you know, and when I want to split them up by type, I'll use something. I'm just shaking the control pad. The control pad. Oh, jeez. I'll use shaking the nunchuck to dismiss the squad. So these guys right here are rock Pikmin. And let me tell you, they are my favorite type of Pikmin in this game. Hold on, rock Pikmin number one. Rock Pikmin are very hard, like rocks. Gee, you don't say. <laughs> yeah, so basically the ability of rock Pikmin is yesterday's foes, today's food. Wow, nature is unforgiving. Yes, that is their ability. No, not really. <laughs> um, Basically, what rock Pikmin do is they break um, hard things, if you will. Oh, analyzing. Analyzing. Oh, the Drake is sending us a message. Analyzing recovery. Sunseed berry. Large quantities of Pictamin U detected. This is a seed bearing fruit, making cultivation on cup by possible. Juice from this fruit is safe for consumption by crew members. Damn, I'm not even showing it. I'll add a food file to the cup pod, where we can store the results of our, our, of our analysis. Never actually seen Alf say that before. But since I don't know much about plants, I'll ask Brittany to write the reports. She's the botanist, after all. So anyway, after being rudely interrupted, um, our, these rock Pikmin here, they are basically hard like rocks, as you can plainly tell. They can break crystals that regular Pikmin can't even break. And they have the same attack strength as red Pikmin. And when you hit them against um, objects, like these crystals, um, they bounce off it and will start attacking it. They do more damage, actually, if you throw them directly at an object. And we got another data file here. New sprouts will be the same color as the Pikmin retrieved, as the Pikmin that retrieved the pellet or creature. So yeah, it says that for a reason, which we'll get into later. So let's pluck out our, all our rock Pikmin, or uproot them. But that's not why I love rock Pikmin. I love rock Pikmin because, man, they are just awesome. They make like such derpy sounds and like like they're they're cute man. I mean I won't lie. I know that makes me sound kind of weird. But you know what? I'm I, I don't care. I like rock Pikmin. They're my favorite type of Pikmin. I don't know though. They're probably tied with like purples. Rock Pikmin inflict extraordinary damage when thrown directly onto an enemy or object. Which I just explained. Alf, I've been waiting for you. I can't break through this wall. Well, Rock Pikmin can. Oh, let's get this. Throw teammates to places that can't be reached on foot. You smash this wall. We are doing that right now. Phew. 
I can't tell you how happy I am to get out of this place. I'm sick of sleeping outside, and I'm super hungry. Um, uh, what's with your entourage there? What's that you say? They're called Pikmin? They're cute. But we don't have time for cuteness right now. Look over there, Alfie. She, she calls him Alfie. Let's work together and nab that huge piece of fruit. Alright, here we go. So basically what you do is you press C a couple times until you until you reach your captain and then you just throw them. Like that. Okay, let's throw some Pikmin. Let's get some reds over there. Okay. I'll take it from here. Press minus if you'd be so kind. Press minus to switch leaders. Split into two squads to manage your workload more effectively. So this is a mechanic that was present in the last game as well as in this game. Is that you can switch between two captains in order to do crap more efficiently. Okay, old Steve is going to help us with that one there. We got some uh, crystals here and some new enemies. These are called Shutter Chucks. As you can plainly see. So we're going to break, we're going to kill that guy. Nature really is unforgiving. Alf wasn't making any jokes there or nothing. So we're going to have those guys build that bridge. And we will have these guys up here attack these. So I forgot to go over something. The fruit that you collect, that we were just collected, this like this sunsea berry here. Um, that's kind of, the fruit you collect in this game is basically like the equivalent of treasure in the in um, Pikmin 2. Bulb orb number one. A bulb orb's eye, eyeballs are its weakest point, which we already know because I told you. Isn't it great to have someone let's playing this game, playing this game for you guys? Well, not really playing it for you guys, but kind of showing you the ropes and all. Yeah, I'm sure it's great. I mean, you could have anyone do this, technically. Chug hasn't even done one of these yet. He's doing freaking Xenoblade right now. And honestly, I'm I'm um not one of those people. I really don't want to be like one of those people where like you can't like something if I don't like it. Like really, I I don't want to be one of that person by saying this. But fucking hell, I do not like that Chug is doing Xenoblade right now because like it's one of those games where, like I feared he was gonna do and like like you because he's talking about it so much and all. I think I'll keep my distance. Yeah, this is an electric gate. You can't do anything about that yet, but maybe we'll get something later that can deal with that. So. Yeah. And we're just building this bridge here. Not really much to talk about. So yeah, Chuggy's is doing Xenoblade right now, and I've I've heard from my younger brother that that game is, that that game is like boring or something. Maybe it, Maybe he and I are wrong about that. I don't know though, man. I just can't stand to think that like he's wasting a whole like rest of his year. He's doing this is like the terrible age of Chug Conroy or something. So we can actually break down this wall right now. Normally, if you were not fast enough, you'd have to wait. Um, you have to wait to do this on day three. But I guess we could just do this now. Now what could this be? The radar is picking something up. The radar is detecting a signal of some sort. Maybe it's a new type of food. Let's go and look for it and look right away. If we get this, I actually have to show you guys this one. Go here. On the Copad's radar, align something with your destination and and touch go here to start moving. Yeah, align the pendulum thing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. How strange to find such a data file. Come to think of it, the radar did have a go here feature. We should try it out soon. It seems like it'd be helpful to if we decide to split multiple squads. 
So I'm actually going to show that right now. I'm just going to disperse our squad here. And then... I'm going to show you guys on the Wii U gamepad here. The handy dandy thing. We will have Brittany go all the way over here. Click go here. And... She will actually reach the destination in due time for where we want to, for where we want her to go. This is very convenient for multitasking and it can be very great if like there are some stray Pikmin and you want to call them back and all. So these enemies right here, I forgot to mention there are fiery blowhogs. We killed them before he could even get an introduction, so kind of sucks. Pikminology number five. Pellets retrieved by Pikmin of the same color produce more sprouts, which we already know. But it's good to it's good to be to be reminded about this stuff. Red Pikmin number one. Red Pikmin are resistant to fire, which we already went over. Oh yeah, and fiery blowhogs. Basically, they attack by breathing fire. But if you use red Pikmin, you'll be fine against them. Now, rock Pikmin are actually don't have an immunity to fire. Um, so they will actually be hurt by that. I've arrived. Now we'll switch to Brittany. And we're gonna have her pluck this. Uh, pluck these sprouts. Now I'm gonna use the go feature. Um, uh, the go here feature. I'm gonna have her go back to Alf. I won't need to show you this. I'm... There might be areas later where I need to show you what I'm doing for the go here feature. So yeah, just keep that in mind because it would be it will be important, especially later on in the game. Oh boy, go here becomes vital pretty much. Now over here, these guys are yellow wallywogs. There are no normal wallywogs in this game, which is surprising actually. Now you guys might be thinking, oh. Fucking hell, it's already a second area of the game where we're fighting Wallywogs. Well, if we actually just do that, hold on, if I can show it off. Hold on, let me just show it off. Normally, a Pikmin will get crushed by just a regular old Wallywog. Okay, I probably won't be able to show it off, but basically... Normally, a Wallywog would be able to crush a, a, just a regular old Pikmin, but with Rock Pikmin, that's actually not the case because Rock Pikmin are immune to anything that would, to any um, crushing hazards, which is basically an insta kill hazard that in, that is basically being crushed. It will be sundown before too long. Alf, didn't you mention that nocturnal predators will attack any stray Pikmin? Looks like the Pikmin in the area of the nest thing we call an onion can get back on their own though. Make sure Pikmin are in your squad or close to the onion when the sun sets. All uh, all others will perish. That's Pikminology number 11. I better call back any Pikmin who have wanted outside my squad. So yeah, here we have a mechanic that's in every Pikmin game. Um, near the end of the day, the game will remind you to get your Pikmin because if a Pikmin is, is not in your squad at night, it will be left behind and you lose any Pikmin that are not in your squad or in the circle. It is very convenient that they added that circle because holy crap, that was a much needed thing. On the opposite shore, there are materials for, bu there are materials for building a bridge. I bet if Alpha and I work together, we can get it done in no time. Let's throw some reds over here. Now, um, if you actually look at the Wii U gamepad, it actually tells you how, ma how many Pikmin you're missing and where they are on the screen. So that is, that is very convenient, and you want to use the gamepad to your advantage. We're just going to throw some Pikmin over here. We should have enough time to at least get some of this bridge done. And if need be, we can just call our Pikmin back. So yeah, we're going to have these guys work on this part. And we're going to throw some more Pikmin over here. And we're going to have the rest of these guys break down this wall. 
signal must be coming from there. Man, I usually don't get this this part in um on day two. I usually uh, make this part on day three, but I'm doing it a lot faster. Boy, I tell you. See, it's the great thing about Pikmin games is like is that like. It has a really big replay value, I guess you could say, because, like, there's so much more things that, like, you can test out. It's like with Mario Baseball, with, like, Mario Super Sluggers, I guess you could say. That game is a pretty good replay, big, a pretty big replay value, in my opinion, too. Let's just call any of these guys. We have all our Pikmin here. There's another electric gate. Still can't do anything about that. Nya. But, we will be able to do something about that, so don't worry. Man, this episode is long. A lot of cutscenes in this game. Boy, I tell you, A lot more than the other ones. And they're kind of, and they're kind of like long things, too. There's like cutscenes and tutorials and all. Well... I mean, tutorials and cutscenes, but don't all games have that? I mean, seriously. But anyway, we're finished with day two here, and this freaking bulb orb is going to try and see if he can get any dinner. But unfortunately, he and his baby cannot have any dinner tonight. We are taking off, basically flipping him off really hard in our minds. And anyway, feast your eyes on this. Very interesting. The two of them merge into one. I'll have to make a note of this fascinating behavior. Let's analyze the other one too. So at the end of the day you basically analyze all the food you got. This is a face wrinkler. You can also read about your fruit on the gamepad. I'm probably not going to be going over these because honestly I cannot hold my freaking gamepad up to the camera in all that time. I mean, if you want to know the um the game uh, the thing on the gamepad that I was talking about, the whole reading about the plants thing, it's kind of like the Picklepedia in this game. There isn't really an official Picklepedia in this game. I mean, there's no, there's one on fruit technically, but not on enemies, which I kind of don't like because the description for the Picklepedia in the last game, some of them were kind of funny. You know, especially the chef ones for Louie, like the ingredients. So we got face wrinkler here, we'll analyze this. And by getting a fruit at the end of each day, you get a certain amount of juice. So that gave us, um, that gave us one juice and a half a juice. A half a juice won't actually count for anything, but you'll have that kept in um, storage. Well, kind of. If we use the sun seed berry here, it'll combine with this one. And we have a full one now. But then I'll make another half one. Which is kind of annoying, to be honest. I don't like having a bunch of half ones, but if you got a fruit that gives you a half, then that's good. I'll ration out the juice. No extra gulps for anyone. So Brittany will say something before you have the um before you eat your fruit or have eat drink your juice, I mean, holy jeez. I won't be reading everything she says. Only if like it's exclusive to like the time period, I guess you could say. But like after this day she'll basically say the same thing, so and drink our blue juice. Oh yeah, she says stuff after too. I won't be reading any of that because that actually gets repetitive. That's like more repetitive than the, what she said before. So, and that's our status screen. And let's press say it's two eleven right now, boy. I tell you, we discovered a mysterious broadcast signal. What on cup pie could it be? It might be our captain, but something tells me it could be related to that person who has been leaving all those data files for us. I ought to find, some, I ought to find out tomorrow. The suspense is killing me. 
He actually says something different if you don't get there, so that's interesting. Fucking hell, 30 minutes. That was amazing how the Pikmin freed you like that. I am indeed fortunate that they were present. They appear to be intelligent, friendly creatures. Perhaps you can get them to help us look for fruit. We need to focus every drop of our energy on getting the Pikmin to help us gather fruit. Well, we also need to find the compass drive key. We won't make it home without that. Right, let's focus all our energy on retrieving the food and the key. I will think about nothing else. Except for finding the captain. We need to rescue him as well. Hey, she actually says something different if you, like... Like, I swear if you get to another point, she says something different. Like, the dialogue is actually different. Right, so we'll get the food, the key, and the captain. Hey, is that everything? Yes, it is everything. What's that signal coming from over there? I sincerely hope it's the captain. Let's hurry over there and find out. Good idea. He might be hogging all the fruit for himself. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry, he isn't. So, anyway, we found a mysterious signal. So next time on Pikmin 3, we will be looking for a said signal in the Garden of Hope. See you guys then.